Hello guys, welcome to a new month. September is finally here and I've highlighted here the previous summers here on Bitcoin. We can see here usually during the summertime Bitcoin does uh, like to trend sideways. Usually during the summer there's very, very little volatility in both the stock market and in the crypto market. Right now September has ended and in my opinion we can start expecting some volatility to come in. We have a few exceptions here. Some summers we can see we had downward movements, here we had upward movements back in 2019 but overall Bitcoin likes to do a lot of sideways during the summer and I do believe where the sideways uh, is coming to an end here. Uh, so we can start expecting expecting some volatility to come in into the Bitcoin chart. Uh, right now we can see here, usually uh, towards September, October, November, the volatility starts coming in into the stock market. So and that usually applies also to the crypto market. As we can see, the crypto market is very highly correlated with the stock market. So we can expect some volatility to start coming into the market. If we check here, the uh, S&P chart, so the Bitcoin S&P chart, we can see here. If we zoom in here, we can see how highly Bitcoin, highly correlated Bitcoin has been to uh, the stock market. So we have the Bitcoin chart here in orange and then the stock market here in the candles. We can see here, usually when, when Bitcoin uh, makes a low, the stock market makes a low and when Bitcoin makes a top, so does the stock market. Right now, the stock market is very bullish as we mentioned in the previous videos and we still do believe that the stock market has much, much higher to go. So if we just hide the Bitcoin chart here for a second, we can see here this is a world largest pitchfork we have on the stock market we can see the stock market keeps making record highs after record highs and we are are, are we are predicting that the stock market is going to have this year one of the craziest uh, returns of all time uh, or one of the most returns in a year and so far we've been uh, right so if we check here since uh, Let's see here, November, since 1st of January, basically, the stock market is already up 19%, which is insane. And I do believe we can even reach 30% this year. So if we continue this, if we take here from uh, 1st of January, uh, I can easily see the stock market closing at 30% by December, if not even higher. As I've been saying, we're not going to top before the, we reach this middle line, which is a crazy prediction because this does mean that the stock market still has much, much higher to go. And as we can see, the Bitcoin price is highly, highly correlated. So I don't see... A, Bitcoin having any top soon as long as the stock market continues to go higher so will Bitcoin since the median line here needs to get reached and then we can talk about a massive massive uh, recession starting and a massive crash in the stock market if we also check here the stock market compared to the US debt we can see here the US debt is just continuing continuing to increasing and I do expect this uh, to continue we can see here how highly correlated this is with the stock market uh, I do believe this is crazy what's happening right now. The more, there's more and more money flowing into the system and it's flowing straight into the stock market. So we can see here smart money is buying assets. So you don't want to stay in the dollar in my opinion. You want to be either in the stock market on, or Bitcoin. You can also see here as I posted on my Twitter, which is absolutely insane. Uh, 80% of all US dollars in existence were printed in the last 22 months. For 4 trillion in January 2020, to 20 trillion in October 2021. So basically, not even the last two years, 80% of the US dollars that are in today's existence have been in the last issued in the last 22 months, which is absolutely insane. You can imagine what this is going to do to both the uh, stock market and to Bitcoin. Most of you, we also have to understand that most of this money is already not in cir circulation. So once this money starts flowing uh, and the money supply starts moving around, then we can see real mass inflation. If we come here back to our Bitcoin pitchfork here, uh, as I said, September usually is one of the best month, months to buy. So as we've been saying, we still believe that they were in a massive one, two, three, four, and we're expecting the fifth wave. But as September has just started, we can look here uh, at the Bitcoin monthly returns. And usually September has the worst performance uh, on average, Bitcoin goes down 4.5%. If we compare it to other months here, September is usually one of the worst months for Bitcoin. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a pullback here on Bitcoin down here again to the 0.5 line here. Before then in October, we can finally start the rally towards 100K and reach the median line once again. And then we can uh, start uh, start talking about some kind of uh, bear market starting. As I've been saying, I still do believe Bitcoin can easily reach its median line again, but we need to be cautious here because September is usually one of the uh, most bearish month for Bitcoin. But overall, I really am bullish on the debt as I am on the stock market. We have to understand that the Bitcoin is highly correlated with the stock market and it's just a matter of time before Bitcoin catches up to the stock market and will continues higher. That's why I, there's no, no reason for me to be bearish here. 
I'm looking at the shorter time frame to enter some kind of long here. Uh, if we get one more pullback, so if we come here on the daily time frame, I'm looking at from the highs here, from the third wave down to the fourth wave and up here to the recent highs. And if we go on the shift pitchfork, people have been asking me what I'm looking at right now for Bitcoin. And I'm looking at exactly 56 point or 55.9K, depending kind of when we reach it, basically this medium line. So if we would go there tomorrow, it would be approximately 55.9. So I'm hoping Bitcoin will have one more move here this very typical maybe we'll reach here at, let's say 10th of september we'll chop around here a bit and then towards october we're gonna see the rally starting which is also gonna correlate with the stock market and continues to rally uh, so that's my views right now uh, ethereum also still inside the pitchfork i'm still waiting for ethereum to start uh, start uh, uh, climbing towards this median line here we can check the ethereum also on the normal scale why i believe that it has bottomed at least for a temporary bottom we take from the highs here to the lows to the recent highs we can see here how powerful this median lies here ethereum did bottom here very normal we create make a bottom we have one move to the upside price comes down here corrects and then we'll get the final rally to the upside very typical bottoming pattern if ethereum would start break below this median line here then in my opinion, I would have to flip bearish at least temporarily and think that Ethereum has much, much lower to go. But for right now, as I am bullish on the on Bitcoin and the stock market, so am I as well on Ethereum because I do expect Ethereum to continue to follow Bitcoin. But as I said, the most important line for Bitcoin is 55.8K. If you would break this one, then we can look at the original, which is slightly lower at 54K. But if we start break this median line, then we can talk, ab talk about if the actually highs are in and we're entering a bear market. Just I don't see that happening with what's happening with the dollar here, as I showed earlier, 80% of the dollar in existence been printing in the last 22 months. So whales, we have to understand smart money is moving into assets. And I do believe Bitcoin is one of these assets that's going to get... A insane amount is gonna go into Bitcoin when we see mass inflation starting in the dollar. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time. We can already see the returns the S&P has given this year is absolutely insane. 20% almost up within one year, and the year is not finished yet. So I can easily see the S&P going 30, giving 30% 30 return this year, um, and then gonna continue climbing next year until we reach the median line, and then we can talk about a massive, massive short. So that's all for this video. I will update you again, guys, tomorrow. Otherwise, I hope you have a nice uh, nice month, a nice week. Please consider liking the video if you enjoy the daily updates. And I will see you again, guys, tomorrow.